Hi guys, this is David, and I'm coming to you with some more RPG news. I really like this new feature that I've added to my channel, where basically I just go through and I talk about new releases, new additions, and exciting things, stuff that I am thrilled about. And today, we have a doozy. It is a, well, it's a new game to us, but it's an old game, and it's one that I've been looking forward to for quite a bit of time, and it's free. So, it should come to no surprise to anybody here that I am a huge fan of the Tales series. I love the Tales series. I have, like, every single one ever released um, in America. And that is the key here in America. Because there's some that haven't been released in America yet. Um, but now... They're getting translated into English, specifically the ones for the PlayStation 2. So, there were five Tales games released for the PlayStation 2. We only got two of them. We got Legendia and Abyss. We did not get Rebirth, Tales of Destiny Director's Cut, or Tales of Destiny 2, uh, which is rather unfortunate. Tales of Destiny was my first exposure to the Tales series on the original PlayStation. I no longer have the game because I had to sell it, which is, again, unfortunate, but whatever. Um, we now have access to a translation of the Director's Cut, the PlayStation 2 version of the game. So, the translation is not 100% right now, but it is so close. It is completely playable, and I'm going to show you how to go about playing the game. And here we are in GitHub. All you need to do to get here is follow the link in the video description. It's all right there. Just go to this GitHub, and this is basically the translation um, group. The people who are translating Tales of Destiny Director's Cut. It's all right here. There are links to their Discord channel. There's videos here on how to actually go ahead and use the tools and the extraction of the files. It has everything here that you could possibly need. Um, this is a very friendly, really good community right here. As you can see, the actual trans the actual files that are translated is 99.82%, so it's pretty much all there. 96% of the menus and only 11 skits are left to translate. So if you want to go ahead and play this, and even play test it and let them know if there's like any wonkiness to it or whatever, you know, they would really be happy about that. In order to download the actual translation, just go right over here. This is the patch. They update this patch daily. Just click on this, go over here, and go ahead and download the patch right there. You're going to need a PlayStation 2 emulator. I like to use PCSX2. Just type that into Google. Google is your friend and boom, download it. There you go. And then xDelta. Again, type xDelta into Google. You'll be fine. Download it, and you're good to go. Once you have all of that set up and done, go ahead and put it inside of your, um, your favorite ROM folder, your games folder, whatever it is that you're doing. You extracted your ROM. You extract your translation file. Open up xDelta. Here it's going to ask you to select your patch, so just go ahead and select the patch. It's, it's an xDelta file. Then the source file, what that means is you want the ROM. So go ahead and find your ROM. You want the Japan ROM right here. And then for the output file, this is just what you're going to name the actual file itself. So you could name this Tales of Destiny Director's Cut. Um, I'll, I'll just do it. I'll just type it all out. Tales of Destiny destiny and I'll say patched and then you want to type I dot ISO um, so that it will actually patch it properly there we go just give it just a second and it should go ahead and patch it properly so you are um, able to play the game right there file patched successfully perfect then we want to get started playing our game that we just downloaded woohoo so go on in here, go to PSSX, which is our emulator. We're going to boot our ISO, and guess what? We are ready to roll. Um, everything is here, everything is translated, and I am 
so happy to play this game. If you have problems, because I had problems at first, if you have problems um, with the cutscenes kind of skipping, make sure that your PCSX emulator is version 1.6.0, which is the newest version. If you want to start up a new game, we have Stan's side here, and um, we also have Leon's side. So Tales of Destiny Director's Cut gives you two different sides of the story. If you remember this game, if, if this looks familiar to you, that's because this was originally released on the PlayStation. It was the first Tales game released on the PlayStation, and um, it's the one with like the Sordians where you learn magic by equipping the various Sordians and all that. Um, it has, has, it's fully voice acting, but it's voice acted in Japanese, unfortunately, but it is still all translated. All the skits are here as well. Again, fully voice acted. It is just such a nice, good version of this game. I am very pleased with it. All of the menus are here. Everything is translated. Everything looks really, really good good. Um, and then there's also um, a, a new thing added to this director's cut where you can kind of um, use device points on your Sordians to customize your characters as well. So if you are a huge fan of the Tales series like I am, you definitely want to go ahead and download this game and play it because it is just fantastic. I had so much fun uh, playing a couple hours of this this weekend and I cannot wait to continue on through. Hope that you guys are excited about this as well and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day.